Ultimately, healthcare team needs collaboration. Valuing every single person's focus and the how it comes together to take care of a patient. We've come to recognize the value of using a team to care for a patient. A recent report outlined strategies to help Pennsylvania address projected future physician shortages. The report also suggested alternative delivery models such as the patient-centered medical home. The primary health network, which has more than 30 locations in western Pennsylvania, was recently accredited by the Joint Commission as a primary care medical home. To show us how this model helps patients, they walked PA Med through a typical visit. In the old model, uh, you went and saw your family doctor. The family doctor pretty much did everything, was responsible for education and diagnosis and treatment and writing the prescriptions and doing everything. But nowadays, there's just so many things that it's really impossible for the doctor to do by themselves. So we have teams. Well, I'm the first person. I basically greet anyone that walks into our office. Um, I verify their information, update any consents, um, and probably listen to concerns because some people just walk in. I am the first clinical person that they would see. So I triage the patients, so I assess, I observe, um, document for the doctor, I complete vital signs, uh, I go through preventative type measures, I uh, review different types of history with the patient. I believe it's a good relationship. It's not, you know, the doctor telling me, you jump and I say how high. It's, it's, a, um, it's, a, it's a conversation about what the best plan of care is for the patient. Well, my nurse is really close because we have to, as a team, we take care of the patient. And after the nurse gets the vital signs and all that, the initial data, then it, I come into a room to talk to the patient. Basically, I'm like, like, I'm gonna guide that patient through that, the complexity of the healthcare and help them with a chronic condition and develop a plan for them that suits them to help them better through their disease. So there's like two new, kind of two new positions like the healthcare coach and the care coordinator, which are key. I'm the health coach, mostly I work with the patients that are higher risk, um, diabetics, um, high cholesterol, hypertension, um, the ones that their numbers are out of range. So I'll um, go in the room either before the doctor sees them, after, sometimes both. I'll go in first and then afterwards. Um, and just kind of talk with the patient, get them talking more, see what um, if they understand what their condition is, if they're taking their med medications correctly, um, you know, what, what the barrier is, what kind of is holding them from improving their health. After the patient has seen the doctor and is ready to go to check out, uh, if there's any testing that needs to be uh, ordered or any referrals to another specialist or something, I will have the patient stay until I'm able to get the referrals completed. I think they enjoy the flow of the office, how it works, you know, starting with their visit and Mike taking them back and then seeing the doctor and then coming to my window and, you know, getting the tests and everything. They're very um, appreciative when they're leaving the office really can't think of too many instances where a patient comes in and says, I don't, I don't care about my care, I'm not going to do anything, you, it's all in your hands. And you know, that very rarely happens. So I believe they're embracing this concept and they want to get involved.